Hey guys, it's Elizabeth from The Dare Good Moments. Welcome back. So today I'm going to share with you my favorites for January. All right, so not every month my favorites change, hence why you haven't seen one of these videos from me in a little while. Once I find something I like, I kind of stick to it, and so I don't do um, them all the time. I feel like sometimes there's no new favorites. I'm liking all the same stuff, so hence why you see lots of essential oil videos, Erin uh, Condren, planning. Once I find something I really like, I stick with it. So today I have some stuff that I haven't shared, or I don't think I've shared, uh, in a while and I'm um, just share with you guys what I'm loving this month. So I'm going to start with my oil favorites. Does that sound good? Very first one is Orthosport. This stuff is so multi-purpose. I have shared with you guys you can use it in a chest rub. We also use it for our sore muscles after working out. I had a six month plan on getting my butt into gear and um, life happened and I can make all kinds of excuses but it just did, and I did make excuses. So it's January, I am working out really hard, <laughs> and um, I need this stuff, especially after leg day and arm day. Oh my goodness, I love this stuff. So it's Orthosport for all athletes of all levels, and it gives relief, so that's what I use it for. The other thing is, is that um, we don't want to fall below the wellness line, so my Immu Power essential oil, which is a strong blend of essential oils, it has hyssop, mountain savory, cystus, camphor, frankincense, oregano, clove, cumin, and dorado azul. Put this on the bottom of our feet. So it's like thieves, but amped up more. So we use our thieves, but this stuff, I figured put it on a roller, and I don't really like the smell of it. Not at all. It smells medicinal to me. And so um, I just put it on and put my socks on. Sometimes I can still smell it. So I try not to do it right before bed because it's not like a... Mmm, this smells so good. <laughs> Bedtime. I like don't want to smell it, but I love it. Really good one. The other thing we've been doing to keep ourselves above the wellness line is the Thieves Spray. But how cute is the new packaging? Okay, how long has this been out and where have I been? I unboxed it a couple months ago, but I just wanted to share. I love this stuff. We spray our shopping carts, our hands. When I pick the kids up from school, we use this. We don't use like the Bath and Body Works sanitizer stuff. I just feel like there's all kinds of scents and perfumes and I don't know what else is in there. Yeah, it smells good, but this smells good and I know what's in it, so it's good for us stuff. So we use this. The other and the last oil thing that I'm going to share, of course we've used more, but these are the standout favorites, is Northern Lights Black Spruce. If you are a woodsy girl, put your hand up in the comments down below if you're a woodsy girl and <laughs> you feel me on this, this thing is amazing calming, relaxing. <sighs> I could just take a deep breath and I feel like I am in the Smoky Mountains. It smells like a cabin and a Christmas tree and it's just so calming and I've needed that. So I've really enjoyed this in the diffuser. So, so, so good. So Northern Lights Black Spruce has been my jam. Uh, I shared with you guys an update on my Crane's shoes. I had a lot of you guys asking me if I loved them and what I thought about them. So if you want to see that video, you don't have to scroll far because it was within this month I shared. But um, I had wanted to love teaks this past year and I didn't. They didn't work for me. They hurt. And I discovered cranes and they've rocked my world. I now have five pairs. If you want to see all the colors, click that link or click that link. Find that video and you'll see all the ones. These ones are one of my favorite shoes. They go with everything. They go with this. These are the iced coffee, and um, they have tons of colors, pretty affordable. They're a little bit more pricey than, you know, going to Target and just getting a ballet flat, but they're leather, and um, just where the elastic hits and the back, how comfortable that is on the back, and then up here, it has a little bit more room in the toe box for my feet. I don't have wide feet, but teaks didn't work, so these rocked. I love, love, love my cranes. Um, I would love to get every color, but um, I think my husband doesn't want to just see me in ballet flats all the time. I wish he did, but... Um, Anyway, <laughs> this is my traveler's notebook. I absolutely adore planning in my traveler's notebook, but then when I discovered the, the world of luxury, um, I discovered uh, my uh, Louis Vuitton PM agenda. I was switching purses to something smaller and I figured that this would fit better, which obviously it would. Um, but I found it extremely tiny to write. So this month I moved back into this. If you wanna see how this looks and how I am planning in my traveler's notebook. Uh, you can check this month too. I did a whole video on my traveler's notebook and 
what it looks like inside and what I'm doing. And um, it works for me. It's not as big as an Erin Condren, so I really can fit this in my purse and throw it in. It's leather, so it, it, the more it gets scratched up, it's kind of the weathered look, and it'll look loved and lived in, and it'll have a story. Um, so I don't have to worry too much about it. And then the tassel, I just change out. I go to like Michael's or Hobby Lobby and I bought a pack of like six to just change out. And I think that's suede or fake suede, whatever it is. But loving, loving, loving my um, Traveler's Notebook. So I think because I don't seem to stick with one planner all the way through and I like to switch it out, I'm probably not going to get rid of this because there may be a day where I'm like, oh, I really miss being, you know, in this pocket size. It's just so tiny and it works better on the go or maybe on vacation. I don't know. I, I love this Damier Azure print. Um, it's just gorgeous. But um, right now I've swapped over to this. A couple more things. I'm going to share with you what I'm reading. I discovered from Happily a Housewife. Uh, she posts videos every week. If you want to see a real mom who's organized and who's got it together, and she's really real. She doesn't fake it. She's not phony. She is awesome. I love her perspective, and she's such a mom on the go. She shared about Laura Casey and Make It Happen. It also had some worksheets for planning, and I really looked at them, and I just thought the way they're formatted wasn't really for me. Uh, maybe I'll change my mind after I read this book, but I've been reading this this month. Oh my goodness, is this inspiring me to do more and to make it happen. This is what it says. This is the story of how I surrendered my fear, took the leap, and got a life. In my case, perfectly imperfect, fulfilling life as a mama, a working mom, a grateful wife. This is a story how I chose to make it a greater purpose than mine happen and how you can too. So, so encouraging and inspiring to move forward. So not just with my YouTube business with Young Living, but also being a children's pastor and a wife and a mom. This is um, an incredible book. I am only like three or four chapters in and there's spots for you to answer questions there's a spot at the end where she asks you questions. So I have a journal that I've dedicated just to this so that I can write as I go. Um, I may want to do her life sheet soon for setting goals um, after this, but we'll see. I will link all everything that I'm listing um, today down below so you can check it out. But super excited about this book. I haven't read a good book in a little while, and this is a good one. All right, a couple more. What I am drinking this month, I've got two things that are awesome. I've got my LaCroix. My favorite flavor right now is this cherry lime. Does not taste like a Sonic cherry limeade. It tastes like it if you are um, dialing down the red dye and the sweet. There's no sweet in LaCroix. There's no sodium. There's no um, fake sugar or sugar, and it's zero calories. It's amazing if you're wanting soda and you don't want the sugar, and you're not getting the diet soda junk. Like there's no bad stuff in this, which is awesome. Now what I'm drinking, and that's really what I'm drinking on the go if I want, you know, a soda because soda. <laughs> um, and then what I'm drinking at home at night is this Trader's jo Trader Joe's peach apricot flavored black tea with other natural flavors. Yum. That's what I have to say about this. It says it's got a uh, rose hip apple Natural flavors, orange peel, licorice root, dried peach, uh, dried apricot, and um, it's delicious. And what's crazy about it is it's a product of Canada. That's where I'm from. But um, let me just take a... Oh, it's so good. And I add a little bit of honey, and then I use my hot water. The tea bags are these triangle ones. I feel like it gets the tea moving more in your um, cup, and so you just get a better flavor. So it's a triangle tea bag. And then, you know, it's just got the little thing. Anyways, those are my favorites for this month. If you like these kinds of videos, give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know. Do you like favorite videos? Do you like seeing what I'm enjoying? I may not do them every month. I may do them every other month because, you know, some of the stuff ends up being the same favorite. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.